I met Blake on the darkest crease in the anus of the universe called Green Lantern. Ryan Reynolds recalled, Yeah, we had to start the video this way. After all, we're going to talk about the couple who constantly troll each other on social media. The Deadpool star recently opened up about how he wooed his longtime partner Blake Lively. And even you might not have expected this from the hilarious pair of lovebirds. Was it love at first sight? Who made the first move? And you definitely want to know what they have to say about those splitting up rumors. We've got all the details on this delicious love story in today's video. And how it all began? Oh, in the most romantic way possible. From friendship. When the Gossip Girl star was cast in Reynolds' first superhero try, yeah, there's no better way to put it, Green Lantern back in 2010, they were both otherwise engaged. Ryan was two years into his marriage with another Hollywood A-lister, Scarlett Johansson, while Lively was dating co-star Penn Badgley. A romance with Leonardo DiCaprio was soon to come. So the couple first became buddies, as Reynolds put it, while indulging in Lively's homemade cupcakes when they were shooting the movie. After that, the two always kept in touch. Casually, though. About a year and a half later, the pair went on a double date, but they were dating separate people. Ouch. Next thing you know, they were going to Boston together. We got on the train and we rode together. I was just begging her to sleep with me. Yeah, who could blame the guy? When asked what the first move looked like, Reynolds was his usual charming self. I would use a bit of tear stick, then I would tell a little sob story about my life. Jokes aside, Ryan described the moment he knew he and Blake had gone from casually dating to a lifelong commitment as one of those silly moments out of a fairy tale. A week later, the actor asked if she wanted to buy a house together. Blake was all in. Before we go a little deeper into this relationship, we wouldn't be us if we didn't talk about the thing that first comes to mind when thinking about these two. Oh, you know what we mean. <laughs> oh, tweets! Oh, tweets! Oh my god! My tweets! My tweets are amazing! Say, I don't know how to react my tweets! Your, your, tw <laughs> your, tw your tw tweets are amazing! Your tweets are amazing, yeah! Some couples prefer to show how much they love each other with grand romantic gestures or long love letters. Or maybe fun, cute little things they do for each other. Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively like to show their affection in a much more relatable way by roasting each other as much as possible. Like the time when Blake wished her hubby a very appropriate Father's Day message. Since the day our baby was born, I felt so strongly in my heart that you were most likely the father, Lively wrote. Aww. What can be more awkward than watching your husband's sex montage through the holidays with another woman while on a plane? Blake Lively knows. It's having to then retell that story to everyone who asks how your Father's Day was. Mother's Day didn't go unnoticed as well. The actor thanked the mother of his three children for all she does for them before adding, Never could I have predicted anonymous airport bathroom sex would lead to this, or how you'd hire Dog the Bounty Hunter to find me. Well, we're incredibly private people, um, uh, uh, so we don't really share our personal life, but we also are best friends and, and sort of do everything together, so it's the balance of like just having fun with each other. Reynolds appeared to have taken a break from his trolling tendencies and show off his sentimental side when he revealed the greatest present his wife has ever given him. In a lengthy Instagram caption, he explained the significance of a painting that Lively had commissioned for him, ending the note with, quote, If there's ever a fire, I'm grabbing this first. I'll come back for Blake. What about the kids, Ryan? When asked about the couple's famous tendency to poke fun at each other online, Reynolds explained, it's kind of like what my dad used to say. If you can't say anything nice, say something embarrassing. I think it's a sign of a healthy relationship, personally. Well, it seems to have been working out for them pretty well. Around the time Reynolds started gushing about her baking skills and lively confessed her ideal partner is someone who makes her laugh and is tall enough to measure up to her in heels. For the record, Blake is 5'10". The pair caught on to the fact that their chemistry was more than platonic. Unfortunately for Ryan, it happened at the precise moment they were on a double date with other suitors. Uh, we were both single. We went on a double date with, she was on a date with another guy and I was on a date with another girl. And, and that was the most awkward date for their respective part because we were just like fireworks <laughs> coming across the... Though, if you ask Lively, she didn't quite see the spark. They were such good friends for so long, getting to know each other pretty well in the process. So when they were both single, they would still try to set each other up. 
we'd sit around being like, oh geez, do you know anyone? And it didn't click for a good year and a half. Like, oh wait, hold on, we could date. What sealed the romance was a secret encounter in this little restaurant in NYC's Tribeca neighborhood. The place was totally empty. A certain song came on and Ryan just asked her to dance. It was just one of those moments where halfway through the dance, it was like, quote, oh, I think I just crossed a line. And then he walked her home. And, uh, you know, we, we don't need to go into details of what happened after. By October 2011, Blake was sneaking up to Ryan's RIPD set, bringing along her Maltapoo penny and a handful of balloons as a birthday surprise. Soon, she was a regular in his hometown in Canada, spending the holidays with his family. While the pair did what they could to keep their vows under wraps, few fans were surprised to hear they'd tied the knot. Our wedding was becoming a disaster, and we didn't know what to do, so we called Martha, as in Martha Stewart. The DIY Empress dispatched a team to Charleston and, later, carefully selected photos appeared in Martha Stewart weddings. Moving from more than friends to married in less than a year is the type of behavior that typically earns relationships the whirlwind romance description. But for the longtime pals, it simply didn't make sense to wait any longer. The biggest thing for Lively was the fact that she'd never known anything like the friendship she had with Reynolds. I knew he would always be my best friend. While not necessarily intentional, the Hitman's bodyguard star agrees that their friend's first strategy has served them well. I think the best way to have a relationship is to start as friends. It also doesn't hurt to be extraordinarily well matched. Both have spoken about the desire to mimic their large families. Reynolds was the last of four boys, Lively the youngest of five. Ryan, who's been open about his fraught relationship with his father, has said he'd happily have nine daughters with Blake and predicting her husband would be a great father, the A Simple Favor star joked about spitting out a litter. As they began putting together their baseball team-sized progeny, they doubled down on their desire for privacy. At their farmhouse estate, they can enjoy the confections Lively whips up in the kitchen her husband has dubbed the Blakery, scour antique shops, and give their daughters the bucolic childhood of their dreams. Ryan had a nice, normal upbringing, and we want our kids to have the same normal life that we had. Lively is said of living about 90 minutes north of NYC. They don't ever want to rob their daughters of what they had. In an age of social media, the pair have managed to keep their babies all to themselves, choosing Reynolds' Hollywood Walk of Fame ceremony as their first, and to date, only entree into the spotlight. That meant the girls were on hand to hear Dad gush about Mom, with a bit of a joke, of course. You make everything better. I mean, absolutely everything in my life better. You've given us two of the most incredible children that I could ever hope to have. Uh, you've made me the father of my dreams when I thought I only had fun uncle potential. So, uh, thank you. I love you. Both would agree they each possess that trait so many other pairs gush about. The ability to make each other better. For Blake, it's Ryan's eternal optimism. The actor said she gets really frustrated when something goes wrong and her hubby is right there to remedy the situation. Isn't that beautiful? You'll always remember that moment with Florence, singing in the sparklers. You have that forever, right there, preserved. Now, that's my favorite part of the dress, said Ryan when Blake got upset that the sparklers burned her dress right in the middle of the reception. Reynolds, in turn, credits his partner with helping him improve his relationship with his dad before he passed, saying Lively always responds with kindness and compassion. She meets anger and hate with empathy. She'll take the time to imagine what happened to a person when they were five or six years old, and she's made me a more empathetic person. As the best versions of themselves, the couple makes the type of gestures generally reserved for rom-coms. For example, Blake once revealed that she gifted Ryan a collection of short stories penned by loved ones. While the actor put together a video of messages for his bride from all the people that made an impact in my life, Wow, who can top that, we ask. And then there's that other endearing quality they share. While Reynolds' witty remarks get the lion's share of attention, his wife is even higher up the list. Her humor is so dry. She said that it can be challenging for those on the receiving end to know she's not serious. When I say something funny, I don't laugh, she has explained, but her friends know what's up. It's when the actor is around some new people, and then the gloves come off. This person doesn't know I'm funny. They think I'm just a jerk. When it comes to Reynolds, though, she never needs to hold back. 
and when your bond is unshakable, there's no harm in poking at it just a little, nor is it necessary to worry about others' perceptions. When Blake and Ryan took their turn on the split rumor merry-go-round, the natural response was a joke. I wish, Reynolds tweeted, referencing a report that they'd been struggling to spend time together. I could use a little me time. Because at this point, the idea that this witty duo might break up is genuinely laughable. In nearly 10 years together, they haven't managed to spend even 8 days apart at a time, thanks to their decision to rotate jobs, so they can always travel to film sets as a family. And for all their picturesque getaways and black tie affairs, they're still happiest in their upstate New York home. The best part is when we turn off our phones and just talk and hang out, she said. May their love never die, and their sense of humor never fade. Do you love this couple as much as we do? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thank you for choosing Rumor Juice. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for more stories that will make you swoon and laugh and just have a good time.